things that go bump in the night. What the Jesus? Me, jerk. Shh, Sam B. Okay. Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, put your stout gators in the swamp. Red light, leave them dead, running like a track meet. Scared of nobody. What you know, you know who I am. Swamp. Give but any idea who you can talk to. Man, or maybe you saw me in the play out time. I play for the fucking the goddamn of champions. Well fed, cooking meat, cannibal, trying to eat. Uh, I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Hey, yeah, watch it. Who do you bitch? Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Stand up. Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Whoa. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go. Sam B to Papa Shango, I'm bearing some many. Handful of fingertips, toss them up like confetti. Stay full of corpse bitches, I'm a pimp of the dead. Come fuck with a zombie, I'll put a stick in your head. Look, you want ghouls like a fucking spoon? Maybe everybody dies, I'm see your ass real soon. Crack bones to the marrow, hot sauce, and they suck it. Now my juju ain't nothing to fuck with. Sir, looks like you've had enough. What's your room number? I'll make sure you get there safe and sound. That go bump in the night. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Let's go. Excuse me, lady. Are you okay? Uh, can you hear me? What are you doing, sir? Cut this is the woman's restroom. I got a zombie on the sand. You can't harm me. Uh, Who do you voodoo, uh, bitch? Yeah. Like a Excuse me, sir. Are, are you okay? Who do you voodoo, bitch? Arms off of my bare hand. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Smack it in my head. Who do you voodoo, bitch? My father was a very great man, a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. Even though he died when I was 10, I remember him very well. He was killed by an enforcer for the Wu Xing Wu Triad, and I told myself then that I would follow in his footsteps and honor his memory. He taught me martial arts, and I continued to practice after he was gone. After finishing at the top of my university class, I joined the Hong Kong police and was chosen as part of the first all-female anti-organized crime squad. I worked hard, I did my best, but the men in charge never intended to put us on the front lines. They didn't train us the way they promised they would. They didn't believe any of us women were up to the task. We were only for show. Instead, my superiors sent me here, to this resort, to this front desk, to be an informer, to spy on wealthy Westerners. My father would not be proud of me. This work dishonors his memory. But I will do as they ask. For I am a patriot. But I know I am capable of much, much more. I just need the opportunity to prove myself.
emergency broadcast system. Please leave your thoughts to the Can't hurt to look. Take a look. Let's open this up.
And my part said no. You heard what he said. Can you hear what's going on out there? You won't go inside here. I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, my body tell you? Now stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again! Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Sweet Jesus. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? Ah, fuck, I should have never listened to Cinemoy. one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. We didn't think you were gonna make it. No thanks to you. It's getting better. I was touching go with you for a while. Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. Then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Like, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? All right. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. 
It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. This is the end of day. Fucker. Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? I'm in. Ah, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, <laughs> where the hell else am I gonna go? Maybe there's something inside.
Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. My wife. My, my dad. Oh fuck, my own fucking brother. Jesus Christ. What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice! Oh, God. Oh, God. This is Roger Howard on a special assignment on the island of Banoi. I'm investigating illegal logging and clear cutting that's not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banoi billions. I've been told to that my life might be in danger as those behind this illegal activity will stop at nothing to protect their criminal enterprise. As a precaution, I will be leaving a trail of recordings wherever I go so that if something were to happen to me, the truth would still be told. I'm leaving now to meet with an informant who I believe could rip the lid off of this investigation.
Beautiful. For a moment, you can almost forget. You did it? All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. No thanks to you. If those things I catch wind of us again, we won't stand a chance here. If those things catch wind of us again, this we won't is stand the a end chance. of days. Judgment day. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? I'll try. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. Come along. You want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the Water Sports Rental Kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy.
There's a table inside you can use to repair your weapons. Look, take whatever you want. I have to get some rest. What do we have here? I'll rest up and then head out to meet my wife. Oh my god!
My weapon is damaged! Maybe there's something inside. Nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. Help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. A lot of people here need help. Go talk to them and see what you can do. I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna is too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you, think you can get it for us? Yes. 
All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out any time you want. Deal? Sure. Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me. Feel like them. these bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. I'm in. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. Somebody help me with this bloody door! Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition! You think you can help me break the bloody thing down? Sure. I appreciate it. Go on, then. Those poor bastards. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. Cindy didn't make it. She passed away during the night. What a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the Diamond Bungalows. I'll do my best. Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. Bloody walking corpses. Kelly... Kelly's worried about her husband, Will. But I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Yes. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. was right. I ran out in such a rush I left my necklace behind at the hotel. It's in bungalow six in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? Sure. Thank you. Please be careful.
He's bleeding. Can you help us? We need help. Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell when I saw that broke down car. Part of me said, forget about it. But I couldn't. I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. <laughs> you gotta believe me. <sighs> but you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Uh, rabies. I don't know. Fuck. <sighs> Who the hell knows? But, but can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. Yes. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. He'll take her in.
cover. People living in the lighthouse? Thank you. Can you check on my husband? Hello! It's nice to see someone who isn't dead! Can't be. I can't believe you're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like... Jesus. Anyway, you better go see to James. I'm sure he'll be surprised as hell to see you're still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you're still alive. James will probably want to talk to you first. He's in the back there. You should go talk to him. Stephen is looking for me? James is at the top oh, of the line. I wish he had come with us. It. I'm worried about him. Could you... Could you please tell him that, if you see him? That I miss him and... And I wish he were here with me right now. Holy shit, you're alive? I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinemoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Sure. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? Unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that uh, help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Farther up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Yes. Good. And when the help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. 